Hi guys, Christopher Timmy here, back with another video. Let's jump into this. I hope, hold on, before I do, hope all of you guys are doing well and staying safe out there. And I hope each and every one of you is having a beautiful and wonderful day. And if you're not, I hope your day gets better, I hope your weeks get better, and I hope that happiness and joy is bestowed upon you each and every day, and wherever you're doing. Because you guys out there, you guys are amazing. But let's jump into this. Okay, so character of the day is Jackie Wells. Okay, and I gotta be honest with you. I, I've been playing Cyberpunk for a while. It's for quite some time. I finished the game four or five times. I don't know. I've lost. I've lost track. Anyway, here's what I have to tell you guys: Stop falling for Jackie Wells. This this guy. He he's not even that good of a character. Now hold on. Before you guys throw shade at me. Or before you guys get upset, I have facts, okay, pulled from this game to show you that Jackie's character is unessential to Cyberpunk. Un unessential to Cyberpunk, because here's the thing. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Look, this game has been out for I don't know how long. If you haven't played it yet, if you haven't heard the story, if you're waiting for the game to get better, I'm not sure what to tell you. <laughs> But spoiler alert, okay? You've been warned. I, Jackie Wells dies, and when he died, and handed me that the the shard in the limousine, I felt nothing. I felt nothing. I didn't care if he died at all. Like when he when he like when he died there, I was just like, why is this a sad scene? Why is this so sad? This doesn't make any sense to me. I don't I, I don't care. It's just he's just a He's just a random. He's just a random dude on the street to me. That's what Jackie Wells is. It's basically like nothing. It didn't matter. It's it's as if Cyberpunk tried to force Jackie's to matter to your character. Sorry, I'm a little bit under the weather, so if I sound stuffy, I apologize. It's like they really tried to force this guy onto you, and it wasn't working for me. And I'll tell you why. And I'm gonna jump right into that. Okay, so starting off. Our first segment for Jackie Wells is meeting Jackie Wells. Who is Jackie Wells? How do you meet this guy? Well, you're about to find out. So, whenever you first start Cyberpunk, and you first, basically, you're going to be picking out your character, there are three different prologue beginnings to choose from. Or basically, these things really don't matter. They kind of give you a little bit of, like, extra... I want to say extra dialogue. Yeah, maybe a little extra dialogue here and there. Just to switch it up in variations depending on what you pick. Or basically, your beginning life. How how you how you begin. Anyway, so you have Nomad, Street Kid, and Corpo. And so I'm going to start on Nomad, Nomad, the Street Kid, and just work my way down and explain to you how each and every one you meet, Jackie Wells. I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, sure hope you're here for me. Are you Wells? And Jackie, por favor. I'm V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. When, when you first start off with Jackie Wells on the Nomad Path, your mission is to transport cargo across the border, uh to to the client however it doesn't go as planned and it gets a bit derailed and I don't know like when I was with Jackie here he seemed like he, he seemed like he just didn't know how to how, what to do he seemed kind of fresh at this he seems inexperienced you know I mean it just feels like he feels a little too antsy or too nervous about everything and I'm just kind of like, uh, oh, okay, this guy, like, to me, he's giving off 
vibes. Like, this guy's a freshman. Like, oh, okay, he's... I, I don't know, like, he's just new. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You know? Because you can just kind of, like, hear it in, in his voice. And, like, when you, like... And, I, of course, I put subtitles on. That way I can understand dialogue, you know, writing correctly. It's just kind of like... I'm supposed to be transporting stuff with this guy? This is my fault. At least have the balls to say so. I don't know yet. Is it? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us. And he was right. <sighs> so what now? We've crossed the border. Now you pay me, and we go our separate ways. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. I can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Huh. And you just figured I would sit by patiently. Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. I was just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but... You're all right. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, thanks. So, what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Open it. Aw, oh, shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Pause. Alright, I don't like Jackie Wills. <laughs> I don't hate the guy. But he... I, I don't like him either. Like, I can't work with someone who's going to steer from the mission. And and who's going to, like, rob their client. Who's just like, well, if I can flip this and make more money somewhere else where... For me, I'm more of an honor stick to the code guy. It's like, you pay me for a mission, you have... You have paid me for it, and you can count on my loyalty. I cannot count on Jackie's loyalty here to stick to that client's mission. Like, I don't. I don't like him here. And, okay, I, I really, really didn't like him in the street punk route. And I will show you guys why I didn't like him in the street punk route. But hold on, I'm not done with this yet. He just, he refuses to pay me because he didn't have the transport money. And now he's getting ready to rob some type of heavy hitter from Arasaka. <laughs> and I don't know about you guys, but if you guys have played the game, we've already been there, haven't we? And Jackie's already paid the results from that, haven't we? I don't know, like clipping some type of... Um, sh uh, shard, um, from some head guy at Arasaka at a hotel at the, at the Plaza, Koneki Plaza, if that rings any bells at all, that's how we got into this mess to begin with. Look, I get it, if you guys want to rob, if you guys want to rob a corpo, fine. All right. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do, but here's the thing. If it is a heavy hitter Arasaka agent, what are you doing? Because <laughs> it feels like every time you guys try to go after these guys, it's just like, you end up in deeper trash than you need to be in. Maybe I'm in the wrong, I don't know. Moving on, we're going in the street, we're going in the street punk. Is it street, is it street punk? Street kid? Whatever. So here in the street kid route, we are basically here to steal a ray field or a type of car so that we can help our bartender out of a bind. And uh, it doesn't go that way. And I can tell you exactly why it doesn't go that way. 
And you were, oh, no, no, wait, wait, you're about to find out. Better yet, let me show you why it doesn't go that way. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Nah, Stints wouldn't do us like that. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. He's Hayward born, bred, and grown like us. Hate suits as much as you do. Did what he had to do. That's it. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Nah, come on. Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should have known I'd have the PD on my ass. So, maybe now, as God ordained, Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Got the job to steal those wheels at the Coyote. And Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe wasn't big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types. And I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. You don't do people in here with dirty. Come on. Let's go have some lunch. Just like that? You put a barrel to my skull not so long ago. You help my homies. You're okay in my book. No harm, no foul. None at all. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. It's a kind of chemistry, you know? No! 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 <laughs> we have no chemistry whatsoever. I do not even want to work with you, Jackie Wells. The only reason why I am going with you is because Cyberpunk is really trying to force me to get along with you right now. That's it. That's the only reason. Man, if I could, I would have walked away right there. I would have beaten this guy up if I could. In game, I like look. You have no idea how pissed off I was at Jackie right here, right now, right here, right now. Better yet, I'm pissed off at CG Project Red. I'm pissed off at, at Cyberpunk. Like, why? I don't want to work with you at all during the Street Kid route. He's trying to say like, now nah, it's my fault. Like, no, like, now nah, we're both to blame. No, Jackie, you're the whole reason. You are the whole reason, Jackie, that I even probably got caught or arrested. All right? I mean, look, because here's the thing here. Either they were on to me or they were on to Jackie. And I'm going to tell you right now, if they were on to Jackie, you know what that means, right? It means that he's the one that got me busted. And you think I'm finna be your friend? Nah. You think I'm finna be buddy buddy? You think I'm finna go get breakfast with you after all of this? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Y'all got me up, oh, for real.
<laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all got me. Oh, all right. I'm pissed off there. All right, everything was going along. Here comes Jackie. I, I think I could have really gotten this car. I really think I could have. Even if Kurt gave me some broken piece of crap, I'm sure I could have found a way around it. Regardless, if you start the street kid route, your feelings for Jackie are going to be lower heading into the game. And well, they they were for me. Look, now that's just my opinion. Everybody else may have loved how they met Jackie the first time. But I'm telling you right now, nah, I'm not feeling it right now. I got me heated going through this and watching it over again. I don't know why, but that dude just ticked me off so bad. Like, you ruined my shot, you fucking prick. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I, I just... Show me the corpo. Show me the corpo. Don't come here often, do you? <laughs> it's good to see you, Chica. Now sit down and tell me what's got your shorts in a night. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been? I got sparks flying between the Valentino boys and Maelstrom. Eddie's there for the taking, as long as you don't get flatlined. When it comes to the corporate route, there's never really any hate, love, loss for Jackie, honestly, because your character already knows Jackie. So, like, it's kind of, it's, it's, when your character already knows someone who, like, when your character already knows somebody, you're kind of like, well, okay, you know, but... If your character is just now meeting them, you have time to kind of establish something, you know. But no, you can't really do that with Corpo. At least not yet, in my opinion. So Corpo is just kind of like in between. And as I've stated before, there's no hate or love gained or lost, in my opinion, for the character Jackie Wells. So when it comes to... With whichever ending of the prologue you choose, it starts to play a montage between you and Jackie Wills. And the montage is the same where you pick Nomad, Street Kid, Corpo, it doesn't really matter. Regardless, you end up, you and Jackie end up living together under the same roof, doing missions together, and just kind of building this friendship that was never meant to happen. <laughs> <laughs> in my opinion, it was never meant to happen, but who am I to judge? So, you know, it, and it just goes to show that this is this was a missed opportunity. Because it would have been better if you were to have played, I don't know, like maybe halfway through the game with Jackie. Compared to just playing the first, I believe, four or five missions. And don't worry, we'll get to those. We'll get to the missions. Because it's not a lot. Then instead of having this montage, because you can't, it's, I, it's, how can I say this? It's not easy to build a friendship over a montage. I feel like you guys need more. You got to build up more, set up more. And I definitely think having a montage is nice when done correctly. And I think this was a failed way of doing a montage. So, regardless of which prologue you, beginning you choose from, you automatically jump into this mission called the rescue. Here, your goal is to rescue the client, Sandra Dorset, who sent out an SOS to your fixer, Wakako. And you can go in guns blazing, or you can go in and do it slow and stealth-like. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't really affect how the mission will go, it just, it's just really up to you. Um... This is your first time working with Jackie Wells, as in you get to actually play instead of actually watching a man a montage, if you will call it. And um, it, it goes fairly well, you know. You know, we go in, we rescue the client, or it doesn't really matter how you do it, but it goes fairly well. So the mission goes pretty well, but towards the end, Jackie needs to borrow V's car. Because he has to take Misty out on the date. Now, if he was a real choom to me, I'd be fine with it. But here's the thing. He's not. He's not a choom to me. He's no choom of mine. 
<laughs> okay, like I just I just don't care for Jackie. I I, I can't I can't get behind anything, wh whatever this guy talks about. Like I just, won't you just go away? <laughs> That's how I feel. That's really how I feel. I may be a little bit hard hard, but I'm just like, dude, just like, I could I I don't care. Just stop talking to me, and. He's like one of those pestering friends that just won't leave you alone, but they don't realize you're not a friend to me. But that made me seem like a bad guy. Regardless, CG Product Red really is trying to force it, so you don't get a choice. So, you know, he drives you home, and then he takes the car, so you take Misty out on, uh, on the date. Yeah, that's how that worked out. I was pissed. <laughs> Your next mission will be the Ripper Dock. Now, basically, you're going to go to Vic's clinic to basically kind of cleanse your system because you may have picked up a virus when you were trying to save Sandra Dorset from the previous mission, the rescue. Now, you don't really, not a whole lot here happens, but you meet Jackie's girlfriend. She talks about stuff with chakra and, I guess, energy. Eh, she, she seems nice. I can't really complain. She, she she seems like a nice woman, so I, I can't really, like, comment on if she's bad or not. I have nothing to say about that. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields. And a... I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields. And avoid mean reds. Anything red. So your next mission with Jackie, depending on how you play through, is called the pickup. Here you are tasked with p picking up a flathead model. It's some type of uh, robot. It's some type of like a miniature robot that's going to help you perform a heist in the game that goes terribly, horribly wrong. And so, I don't know what Jackie's problem here is. The dude tells him to sit down and he doesn't want to. I'm just like, really? Wait, dude, stop being an idiot. Just, just sit down. And it is kind of funny, though, because when you were talking with Dexter Deshaun, who is the guy who's who basically uh, set it up, and he's like, Jackie's not really a people person. And you know what I mean. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Uh, I was just like, yeah, I get it. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jackie's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Extracting the flathead, of course, results in a gunfight. Depending on how you play or do, you may fight different enemies. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Jackie Wells. So, for the most part, I guess he does okay in helping in this mission. Uh... There are, there have been times where he's basically left me like, okay, he's not going to kill this guy. I'm going to have to kill this guy. So, I don't know. For a, I guess he does okay. I still don't like him. But it is what it is. I'm not, you know, that's all I can say about it. <laughs> yeah. So, moving on. After the pickup, you go and you will meet Jackie at the afterlife. Assuming you've done... All the other things, of course, with Evelyn Parker and, and whatnot. Like I said, Jackie Wells is our main topic. At some point, maybe I will get to Evelyn and Judy and Pan Am, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But for right now, Jackie Wells. So, after all this, your next mission with Jackie is going to be to head to the afterlife. Que ya tengo planes para esta noche. Virgen Santísima, ma. Te vas a enterar mañana. Yo también te quiero, ma. About time, chica. What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. 
more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. Now, for the record, I don't despise or hate Jackie's character. I just think that his character is unessential to to cyberpunk to your to the story to the plot. I mean, don't give me. But besides that, I think his character has a lot of potential, or if, if not potential, he has a lot of impact. Like, you know, there are some characters in video games where it's like, man, like, they didn't really even try with this character, but with Jackie, they tried. They really did. And they really put in, like, a good chunk to his character, I think. You know what? Uh, honestly, if I didn't meet Jackie Wills in in some of these prologues in certain ways, I probably would like Jackie a lot more. But that is just my opinion. So, coming into the afterlife, you're going to be setting up... Basically, you've got the flathead model. You've talked to Evelyn about everything. You've gotten the information you've needed to get. So now, it comes time to do the heist. And so he, he comes here, he talks to Dex, and with T-Bug, and... And I, I do want to talk about those characters at another time. But I, maybe I might mention them towards the end of this video, because they, they are some honorable mentions here and there. But maybe I might do that for a side video where I just mention different characters and put them all in one, because it's not like I can do like an hour-long video for every single character of Cyberpunk. I mean, that would just... that would be a little crazy. But then again, so am I. But so is Jackie. And if you like him, so are you. So, moving on, let's jump into Jackie's final mission. Or so we think it is. The heist. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! So the heist goes horribly, and now we are forced to fart our way through this Arasaka field hotel with an injured Jackie Wells. And it just, it doesn't seem like he's going to make it. And obviously we came here for the shard, but the the containment for the shard has been obstructured. And the only way to obviously secure the shard is for Jackie to slot it within his own neck. So here, Jackie gives you the biochip back and slots it into your neck and then he succumbs to his wounds. And here, the game is supposed to make you feel for Jackie. Like, oh man, Jackie just died. It's such a critical and crucial moment to the story. When it really isn't. In, in all honesty. It, I mean, look, don't get me wrong. It, I'm not saying it wasn't sad. To me, it wasn't sad, but I don't know how everybody else felt about it. I just, you didn't have enough missions to grow with Jackie to feel em emotions for this character. You just did it. You had your prologue mission. You've got the rescue. You've got the pickup. And you've got the Ripper dock, but you're only there he briefly, if anything. And then you have the last mission, the highest. It's a total of five missions. You have five missions, five missions with Jackie Wells. Five. That's it. There's not enough to build that with someone. You know, I mean, when I think of building an emotional impact with a character, I think of games like The Last of Us, or, or even uh, if you guys remember Sleeping Dogs, where you had uh, Jackie which was Wei Shen's uh, longtime best friend, you know, or, you know, even that, if you go, you can also think about Mafia 2, you know, where you build this relationship with, with Joe, with Joe Barbaro, and, and other games that have done this as well, and so, like, for you to, to feel something here, I don't know, it, it just, I think if they would have done it better, and I think if Jackie would have been with us a lot longer in the game, 
I would have felt more for this character, but sadly, I don't. I don't. A few mission a few missions later, you will be with Takamura, and you will be staking out this Arasaka facility. Now, to get this dialogue correctly, when Jackie dies in the limousine, you have to make sure that you send his body to Vix. You don't, do not, I repeat, do not send to his family or do not leave in the car. You will say to Vix. That's the one you want in order to get this dialogue. And Takabora will tell you what happened to Jackie's body. There's one thing you should know. It is about Mr. Wells. About Jack? What is it? When I set out to find you, others went to find Jackie. They took his body. For the life of me, can't figure why. So his mom couldn't give him a proper send-off? Arasaka has a method for pulling the information from the dead. What are you talking about? Don't ask for details. I understand little. I know they use the Soul Killer program to do so. They can pull an engram from Wells' body. Damaged. Incomplete. But still an engram. Motherfuckers. Evil. Don't believe it. Pure bullshit. You survived your death. Is this also bullshit? Why am I only hearing this now? I did not know I could trust you. The circumstances have changed. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. Now, the only way to, f to discover Jack and Soul Killer is to... Now, this, this can be done only at the ending of the game. And at the ending of the game, you have to side with Hanako. Because it's like three different endings. Well, four, I guess, the secret ending. Anyway, you are to side with... You need to side with Hanako in order to discover Jackie's body. Now, when you do find Jackie's body, his body isn't... Or his mind, technically, whatever they took, his engram isn't what you really think it is or it's not like he's actually living it's more like they're just kind of moments split up from previous events and it's kind of a bummer and it's not like he's actually locked in soul killer it's just like i don't know nothing it's kind of unessential and hanukkah was she's kind of thick she's, she'd be looking good that dress make hanukkah look good but we're not here for that we're here for jackie Let's get to, let's see what happens and what Jackie really is. These are two wholly different things, but let us see. Jackie Wells. Chica, finally! Mama told me things come to those who wait. <laughs> Some are even good. Jackie! How... Uh, how do you feel? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster? Like most of the Wells boys? Thing is, the more I say everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. Remember anything? About what happened? Hit the major leagues, chica! Running with Dex! Badass black Jesus of the afterlife! A heap of partly gold-plated cool! Not bad, eh? Misty misses you. Loads. Oh, Misty. Listen, amiga. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Got a date with Misty, but... I take the metro. How's that gonna look for me? Hey. Never did get the chance to thank you. Knew I could always count on you, Jack. 
shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Take it easy, amigo. Afterlife. See you there. Did you get what you expected? No damn well I didn't. I warned you it would be something wholly different. Something. Well said. And so we must move on. Now, unfortunately, we must move on. However, I do want to go back real quick and point this out. So now, in order to get that dialogue with Takamura, there's also some, a dialogue scene with Victor. If you were to call Vic up on his phone, he will also tell you what happened to Jackie's body. But that clip didn't correspond too well. Regardless, um, now if you were to take him home to his family, or wait for him there in the or have his have him wait there in the car regardless that would just go to his family and in doing so you would unlock the mission called heroes now this mission is skippable depending on what option you choose here because if if you just take him to Vic's clinic and they take his body mama wells will call you and she will tell you there's a package by your doorstep and it will be the key to Jackie's bike However, if you were to do the mission entitled Heroes, you get so much more backstory on Jackie that it's crazy why this isn't, this shouldn't, this should have just been an actual mission from the beginning with instead of having this skippable. It's, it's mind boggling to me. So, during the mission Heroes, you actually go through Jackie's stuff. Like, you see his garage and you you understand more of him about Jackie and his character and there's just so much more content to it like you know there in an earlier scene with his bike at the pickup you can actually tell him hey you should probably adjust his muffler if you and if you tell him that in this scene he will check Jackie's bike and it was like wow he actually fixed it and so there's a um, there's just so much here. There's a, an autograph uh, basketball talking about how there, there's just so much souvenirs. And you can place one of these souvenirs at his funeral. And and I, I'm going to show you every piece of souvenir that I found. At least I'm going to try to. That way even you guys can understand more of Jackie's character. Whether you've played the game or not. Oh, Jackie. That a... Mandela? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Another belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back, kicked his butt, told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. True memento, this. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. What? The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the 
How'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him De Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Nice still. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Hmm. This'll be... fitting. Jack, pure and simple. Haywood kid, with a hell of a drive. Where's Deezy Chew? I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. When it comes to understanding Jackie Wells, I can't show you like a 30 minute video expect for you to fully know you have to play the game and get to know him as well but I just want to give you a little bit of glimpse here maybe rejog your memory about some things if you've played it or if you haven't seen it well here's some some reason why because what I think would have been better for Jackie Wells the character instead of getting Johnny Silverhand as your all-around guy we got Jackie Wells so not only are we trying to fight to save V's character but we're also trying to save Jackie's character as well. In, in a way, you know, because, I mean, he would probably feel bad for wanting to take over your body. He want, he would probably want his own body. And I think going that route to try and get Jackie a body, his body back, or just trying to f resolve his solution at the end, I think that would have been way better compared to having... Johnny Silverhand as the Ingram trying to destroy you. But that's just my opinion because then again, what would you do with Johnny Silverhand? Would he just be another character on the side or, you know, because I mean, if you look at it this way, you've got characters like Pan Am and then characters like Judy and just other people who might have had like a few missions with here and there that I think, well, Instead of Johnny Silverhand being the, on the biochip, it was Jackie, and then Johnny Silverhand was one of the other characters, or the other possible ending. You know, similar to that of the avocados. So I think that would have been better, but that's just my opinion. Because, why give us this character, and then they cut him off? I mean, uh, it, it it's a little lackluster, it... it I don't know, it's kind of ridiculous. Is Am I wrong? Am I the bad guy here? But I definitely think that would have been a better premise, in my opinion. Teach is their own, of course. But without Jackie, it, it wouldn't have mattered. Because regardless, you could have done everything without Jackie Wells. Because you know what the story is? Each, each beginning started out with, uh, you know, like Jackie takes you under his house, his home, his family, and, his, and Mama Wells, but it's just like, you could have done that yourself, honestly, you could have, for instance, you could have uh, done a few missions, saved up some money, and then it's like, go buy your first apartment, or something, you know, or, or go buy a hotel to stay in, then once you've saved up more money, it's like, okay, go buy an apartment, then once you save up more money, now you can finally buy 
a house or I, you know it's just it feels like you could have done that on your own and it, it really feels like Johnny Jackie sorry it really feels like Jackie didn't have to be there it felt more forced onto you but if you're gonna force on this character then then implement him into the rest of the story you know, and and that's the whole thing with the biochip. Like, I mean, if you look at the biochip and you think about it, all Jackie did was hold on to the biochip to you got in the car. And it's like here. It's like even if Jack, if Jack, if Jackie wasn't there, I probably would just put the biochip in myself and escape by myself in the Delamain, whether he was there or not. Because the reason why having Jackie in the biochip actually makes sense is because it's a prototype and basically while Jackie was dying he was having his engram copied onto the biochip and then when he took it out that's what killed him I mean like he died but it also copied that engram onto him it kinda of made like another copy and so now you and Jackie are trying to figure it out throughout the rest of the story instead of having drawing silver hand. I think that would have been better. But I guess if they wanted to make Jackie more significant and maybe have more missions with Jackie, you could uh, you could probably they could probably do like side DLC where they set it up where you have uh what are those things called? The B D Rash race. Basically it's uh where you can like Kind of like what Judy does, where you sit in the chair, and then you go through there and you watch videos and stuff. But instead of watching them, you're playing through them. So, like, you would basically, instead of playing as V, you're playing as Jackie, reliving one of his memories. Which I think would be great. I think it would be a really good DLC, getting to know Jackie Wells better. But, at the end of the day, Jackie isn't such a bad guy... But his character is completely useless to Cyberpunk. And you guys can't prove me wrong. And for people who said they fell in love with Jackie, I was like, no you didn't. You lying to yourself if you did. <laughs> Sorry, I just like, I have the data. I've shown you. you. The only other possible explanation that you could like Jackie is because you are lying to yourself. And I'm sorry, the truth hurts. Not everybody can handle it, and I understand that, but there's just no point to this character. Like I said, the only thing I could probably see them more doing with is possible DLC, if anything. Uh, or, better yet, they should have made Jackie Wells that guy. They should have made him the star or the center instead of having Johnny Silverhand. Because they're going to run. Johnny Silverhand's pretty cool. He has a lot of interesting friends, I guess. It's just... It just... You know, I mean... The whole the, the whole point for Johnny Silverhand is that it's Keanu Reeves. I think that's it. I think that's the, that's the whole silly point. Other than that, you, you don't... You just don't have much. But I don't know. But... Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Tell me what you thought of the video, and thanks for watching if you made it all the way through. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you guys have a wonderful and beautiful day, and that happiness and joy is bestowed upon you each and every day, because why would I want you guys to be miserable? I want you guys to be happy. I want you guys to keep on going, because you guys are awesome. And I recognize that. But without further ado, um, I might be... I've been a little under the weather, you know, dealing with COVID is a little bit of a pain, but I try to do what I can. I've been working. It's, 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 it's been rough. It's been rough. It's been a rough year for all of us, I think. And if not, that's great. And if it has, it will get better. That's what I keep telling myself and I keep hoping to myself it will get better. So you guys got to find that hope too. And if you guys can't find that hope, then I'll be the one hoping for it. So as always, good week, good morning. Good morning, good evening, and good night. Wherever you are, Christopher Tender, signing off.